You won't believe what some people volunteer to do for science, the download grab bag of weird video, and bad idea coming in three, two, one, bingo! Or should we say ho, ho, ho? Hey again from Washington, Doug Bernard here with today's download, and we're starting today with a question. How do you think you would fare if you were forced to be in a spaceship for nearly 17 months? Well, that's the question the European Space Agency is trying to answer with an experiment underway in Moscow. Engineers from the Russian Academy of Sciences are building a mock spaceship to simulate a voyage to Mars. The Mars 500 project here, testing the endurance of six volunteers, will be locked inside for at least 500 days. Yow! Once inside, there's even a greenhouse biolab there, like that on the space station, where Russians have already spent long stretches of time. In the middle of the flight, I noticed that every day I started with opening greenhouse just to feel the smell of Earth that was smell of home. Mm, maybe it was a fellow cosmonaut. Well, anyway, scientists say an actual trip to the Red Planet could happen in the second half of this century. Pretty cool. Well, don't forget to check out our weekly web chat, T2A, our own Aaron Brummett hosting this week the upcoming U.S. presidential elections. You've got questions, we've got answers. Just click on the link on our homepage called T2A. You know, we collect a lot of stories here that just don't seem to fit anywhere, but you know, they're too good to pass up. So let's go ahead and open up that download odds and ends bag now. And to Japan we go first, Tokyo's Narita Airport, specifically where protesters are uh, literally giving the finger to new fingerprinting plans. At least it's not that finger. Japan now joining the U.S. in scanning the fingerprints of every non-resident entering that country. Well, almost everyone, actually, diplomats and a few others will be exempt from the plan. Uh, this guy obviously not on that list. These exemptions, however, not nearly good enough for these protesters on hand who worry that the plan will lead to discrimination. And, you know, we're just thinking that that big balloon there will turn up soon at the writer's strike here in America, mm, perhaps with one major modification. So New York City now, and the place where sneakers go to die, apparently. Uh, this said to be a local tradition, mm, try again, kid, in this area of Brooklyn. 72 pairs on the phone line there at last count. That's down from the record of 300. Uh, no, nope, not quite. Uh, why, you ask? Yeah, why not, say locals? And, you know, who are we to argue? Well, make that 73 pairs. Well, finally from us today, a little seasonal cheer. But first, this warning. The people you are about to see are not the real Santa, just some of his helpers. All right, so don't come complaining to me. To Conroy, Texas now we go for a little ho, ho, ho. Uh-oh. Uh Santa here in a bit of a pickle. He was supposed to rappel down this building until his beard got stuck. But hey, this Santa, one quick thinker. All right, here's the plan. I'm going to go inside. The other Santa's going to come out. Okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, one small problem. Uh, you've got to get down first, sir. Well, with Santa dangling some twin 10 meters up in the air, parents left with plenty of explaining to do. Uh, maybe some milk and cookies would make him feel better. Well, that is your download for today. We hope you'll come on back, and we'll do this all again tomorrow.